Hey, this is Stacy from Let's Cook Y'all. Welcome back to our channel. If you're new, welcome. We're really glad you're here. We hope you enjoy these What's For Dinner videos and our other content, and you'll consider hitting that red subscribe button. We're back with a new week of some yummy, homemade, delicious meals. Hope you enjoy this week's video. To go with the first meal, I decided to make some homemade coleslaw. Usually I have a bag that I like to augment with red onion and carrot. This time I had a head of cabbage that I was using part for this and part for another recipe later in the week. I just made a simple oil and vinegar coleslaw rather than a mayonnaise based one since it's summertime. And because I'm trying to use more of the things that I have that mean something to me, this is my grandmother's pink Pyrex. Tonight I've made one of Tim's favorite. Whenever I have leftover hamburger buns, I like to make him sloppy joes. I took some turkey, thawed it out of the freezer. I diced up some onion, I browned that. I kind of winged it. Normally I use a can of tomato sauce, but I had some tomato sauce, tomato paste concentrate in the fridge. I just mixed that up with a little water. I'm not gonna make these the normal way. I usually put barbecue sauce and vinegar in them. I'm gonna make these cheesy turkey joes. So I added some brown sugar, yellow mustard, Worcestershire sauce, some ketchup, probably a little more than normal since I didn't use a full can of tomato sauce. And I added some of the new Trader Joe's onion salt along with salt and pepper. I tasted them, they're pretty good. Hopefully he'll enjoy them when he gets in from playing golf. Tim got in right about the time I was going to put the cheese in the sloppy joes and turn them into cheesy joes. He said he was fine. The way they tasted so he's got we've got sloppy joes coleslaw and potato chips and that's tonight's dinner for dessert this week we opened up the 99 cent container of ice cream i got at kroger on sale a couple weeks ago i'll leave it right here for what tim said when we opened this container Now that's a sushi. The next night I had planned to try a new recipe for an instant pot summer soup. It uses fresh vegetables like the corn Tim cut off the cob for me, some zucchini, some carrots and onion and celery which I left out. But rather than doing it in the instant pot, I decided to do it on the stovetop since I was not only cutting it in half, but it called for farro and I had 10 minute quick cook farro so it would not have cooked in the same amount of time in the Instant Pot and I didn't feel like trying to adjust the recipe. So I sauteed all of my vegetables on the stovetop and I added some garlic and then I added a can of crushed tomatoes, some chicken broth and then seasonings, basil, oregano, onion and garlic powder, salt and pepper, and then I used my 10 minute farro and brought it to a boil. I did cook my chicken separately, which also varies from the original recipe. I will leave a link to that recipe below. I might try it again with regular farro in the Instant Pot, but this worked really good. After the mixture has cooked and the farro is done, you add the corn and the zucchini, and then when they're about ready, it only takes a couple minutes since they're fresh, you add in the chicken at the end. What you making? PB and J. Why are you making peanut butter and jelly? It goes good with vegetable soup. This is summer soup. Summer soup. Okay. I like it with winter soup too. Why do you eat peanut butter and jelly with vegetable soup? Just like you eat cheese with cereal. Why's that? The taste is awesome. No, you had it in school growing up, didn't I you? Did. That's what your mother told me. So yeah, that was one thing they always anything had vegetable soup, they always had PB and J. I never had vegetable soup with peanut butter and jelly until I met you and I still don't eat it. But this I'll leave a link for this recipe. It's pretty good. It's basically a a vegetable soup with chicken. It does use fresh zucchini and corn. So I cooked it on the stove top and the recipe said to top it with things like Parmesan or yogurt or lemon juice, but we've tasted it. It's good as is. So we're going to enjoy it like this and I will leave a link below. That's what's for dinner tonight. PB and J. It's been a couple weeks since we had anything Asian and I was about to break out into hives, so I tried a new recipe for a homemade stir-fry sauce that used chicken broth, oyster sauce, some honey, cornstarch, rice wine vinegar, and some seasonings. It was okay, it wasn't very spicy. I also mixed up some 
meatballs using pork. We've shown this in a what's for dinner video before and I will leave a link to that one and I cook the meatballs in my air fryer. I also got out the Instant Pot and put it on steam for four minutes to steam some frozen dumplings or pot stickers. Since my air fryer has the meatballs going and my Instant Pot has the dumplings steaming, I am using boil in bag rice, not something I usually do. I just opened this bag box from Walmart. We'll see how it tastes. I had a bag of stir fry vegetables from the produce section at Walmart and I'm really weird. I like to pull off the strings that are on either the sugar snap or the snow peas, but I just heated up my wok and some oil and added some garlic and some ginger and stir fried the vegetables along with some added cabbage and used that stir fry sauce. It was good. The sauce just needed a little bit more flavor or seasoning. And I toss the meatballs when they come out of the air fryer and some of this soyaki, any kind of teriyaki or any kind of sauce you like. Probably just soy sauce would work even. This is definitely more my kind of meal, Asian. Tim will be in later. We'll heat him up some leftovers, but I made the Asian meatballs in the air fryer, some brown rice, steamed some dumplings in the Instant Pot, and stir fried some vegetables. That's what's for dinner tonight. Something we haven't done in a long time is have date night when your very handsome husband asks to take you out. Even though you forget your camera and you pull out your phone and turn it the wrong way, you still go. Tim had the ribeye and baked potato and salad. I had one of the house specials, which was blackened redfish with crab meat on top and pasta and an amazing garlic sauce. Mine was delicious. Thank you, sweetheart. And this weekend, our family gathered together to celebrate our great nephew Hunter's second birthday. They had a big cake. He's all into the dogs. I guess it's Paw Patrol or whatever it is on TV. So they went with that theme. Everything was cute. Everything was delicious. And we got another chance to see family and celebrate Hunter. Towards the end of opening presents, he got the hang of getting the tissue paper out and he had a good time. Thanks so much for stopping by our channel. Let's cook y'all. Hope you have a wonderful and truly blessed day. See you in the next video.